Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today we will do an exploration within Google Merchant Center Next for the supplement feeds and the feed rules. However, these are called slightly differently within GMC Next. So uh, I will do this with you as I go along. So this will not be a something that I already know what is going to happen within the account because i will explore this with you as i check with a new account so but i'm expecting that the only uh, difference is where everything is located and not really uh, the steps that you need to take within the setup so most likely i will be able to figure out rather quickly what to do so when you're in Google Merchant Center next, and if it is already enabled in your account, you go to the gear icon or cog icon, and then you click on add-ons. Within add-ons, you can then see all these options. So what we're interested in is the advanced data source management. And of course, things that have been also enabled uh, that was in the GMC Classic version is dynamic remarketing, so display ads, so you can enable that as well. Um, what else is new? Um, pretty much everything else was already, oh, the loyalty programs, actually, that was also not in there before. Um, the local ads were also not in there. Um, so free listings, I believe that was actually by default enabled. So I guess now they have the option uh, for that. So everything else is uh, pretty much already in existence. So even custom reviews was added a couple of months ago. So this is great. Let's go and start by clicking on add. Okay, we want to enable this. So now we go and exit and let's go and find where it would be located i would assume it would be in data sources and let's go and click ah here we go supplement sources that's great so when we click on it yeah so this step is pretty much while it is a different UI, uh, it is uh, exactly the same as it was in GMC uh, Classic. So you can add a file using a spreadsheet that I love to use. Uh, this is very good for adding performance data from Google Ads, for example, and also adding um, the data feed improvements. Like I'd like to improve products step by step uh, to ensure that we have the most improved the product details as possible so we use that as a spreadsheet and uh, you can also use a uh, content api although you would usually submit content api from the app itself into google merchant center not the other way around so i'm not sure how this would work but it's cool that it is there okay so now what i want to find out is where are the feed rules Logically, it would be, it used to be uh, in the data feed. So let's have a click on this, see what happens. Here we go. So your attribute rules, that is what we wanted. So let's go and have a, just add a custom label, for example. Okay, so. It looks different, but the functionality, so set to extract. So this is the source attribute. Okay, so we can, so we can add modification. Yeah, so exactly the same as before as well. So we can use the data source. That is add more ways to replace data. Okay, yeah. And then we have got add modification and that is advanced to clear yeah okay so that's also added so all of those are the same as before let's go back and add a modification uh, sorry replace data so if we want to take from a source let's say availability contain contains in for example we cannot enter I guess 
no, like before, we have to click on the value. It's still the same old uh, bug. Now what we can do is set to. Great. I want to see if set to multiple also exists. So we need to go to a different um, attribute such as excluded destinations. So let's go and do excluded destination. Set to multiple. Okay, so yeah, it's exactly the same. Just the UI looks different. Nothing has really changed. That is amazing. Now, what I want to see is if they have added any new attributes. So let's go and have a look. Additional. There are indeed new uh, attributes. However, they were in existence as, as you can add them in as a primary field. For example, free ship and threshold. Uh, I'll see uh, what was I saw before auto min price. So these existed, but not in feed rules. So it's great to see them added to the feed rules. But as in new attributes, I don't see anything new that you could not already add. Rich product content. That is actually something new. I'm not sure what that is. Um, well, yeah, I would not be able to know what that is. So that's interesting to know. Um, I'll have to figure that one out. So let's have a look at what else. Virtual model yet. Structured title. Yeah, so these two, that's great to see that as well. So these two are actually for um, if your content is AI generated, you need to submit that using the structured title and structured description. So it's great to see these attributes separated because technically um, it was within one um, document in the Google Merchant Center documentation. So it was a little bit confusing for merchants to, to know how to add that. So this is great that it's been added. For the rest, I don't see anything new. So pretty much rich product content, that is new. Um, and I will have to look into that. So great. Um, so you can add both the supplement feeds and the feed rules. So using attribute rules. So I'll, I'll have to stop using feed rules. Um, I'm sure that will take a while. Uh, Google loves to change names. Um, is it beneficial? Not really, but the functionality itself, uh, is identical. Um, it's great to see some new attributes within Google Merchant Center next. So this is exciting. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with these updates that it's finally in GMC Next, so I can start helping out all the clients that use GMC Next. Uh, as per Google, uh, I believe by the end of the summer, every, the majority should be migrated to GMC Next. So now you can migrate uh, without fearing um, that these functions are not available. Um, and according to Google, all the migrations if you have feed rules added and supplement feeds added these will all be uh, identical so nothing will disappear according to google uh, but i'm pretty sure and confident that that will not be the case so that's it for today thank you for watching and uh, happy hunting with gmc next thank you bye